So this is the anthropology website. So uh, this is not actually a website. Uh, so this is an application. That's a difference between uh, what you would develop on Flex and for Air from the desktop and the browser. Uh -huh. So when it's on the browser, it's actually a website that's there and you're connecting to that. Uh, while in this case, it's an application that you built. It's pretty similar to other desktop applications that you develop with uh, other technologies. So you're installing this application onto your system. And what you do is like you just double click an icon and then, then get this application up. So it's an application and not a website. Start. So that means I can work on it or look at it offline. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. That's okay. the whole point. Uh, so uh, this is the Anthropology application. So Anthropology is a US-based uh, fashion store which uh, which you know kind of churns out sweaters, tops, and a lot of different things. So this is an Air application that they have come out with for you to be able to browse their catalog. Let's see that. You can just you know as you can see it kind of smoothly animates and shows me the different kind of things that are there. I kind of like this. So I'm going into it. So it gives me the details. I can go even to the minutest details of that particular uh, clothing and see what I want. Uh, there's another really nice uh, feature here. I can search for a top, let's say. Mm -hmm. And uh, similar to the phone uh, one, what it gives me is like some 10, 20, 30 tops, which is not what I want. I want a top of a particular color and things like that. I can go ahead and say, okay, I want to pick a color, and I want to pick a color of this, right? And I get all the articles that are there on the Anthropology website right here in a really magnificent way. I can even extend this. So since Air is a desktop application, there's a lot of, as I said, native integration that's there. You're able to do things like, uh, this is a photo that I have of a bag, and, and I, I really like this color right here. So mm -hmm. I want to be able to buy a top for my sister, which is of this color. Let's say is that, so that's what I want. I can just go ahead, grab that picture from here, and drop it into this application, and just go ahead and pick that color. And then it adjusts itself to say, OK, this is the color I'm looking for. So there's a different color there, right? So here, within minutes, uh, you know, I can get to what I want. There might be somebody walking on the road who you like the color of the sweater that she's wearing. Take a photograph, put it into this, and then you have what you want. So this is what Air does for you. Put it, puts it on the desktop, and an amazing way of interacting with data. You saw uh, all the aspects of richness. The user is engaged in the whole application. He wants to work with the application, not just like you know, uh, I have to do it. So that's not the way. It's, you're engaging the user. So there's a lot of business benefits as well as the a company who's taking up these technologies of concern. And also there's a lot of richness, there's a lot of dynamicity in the way the application works. You like this, don't you? Oh, definitely. And that's why I'm an evangelist. <laughs> I, I that's, that's what I do and I'm, I'm really passionate about it. Yeah. Okay, and what is it that you're going to show us next now? Uh, so, uh, you saw the different applications that are there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, now, how will you be able to do such a thing is, is the next question. So, let's, let's take a look at that first. So, uh, to be able to make an Air application, uh, you can do it, so as you said, it's an integrated runtime. So okay. it, ha it has to have some kind of integration. So what exactly is that? Mm -hmm. So the Adobe Integrated Runtime actually encapsulates three different platforms that are currently mostly uh, there on the internet. Now first is the PDF that's there to you know, uh, document transfer that Adobe has come out with. Then there is the Flash. Uh, animations and, and flex applications all run on the flash player right and the third and the most prevalent is the HTML uh, uh, platform so air combines all of those three things so which means that you might be a flash developer you can be a flex developer you can be a HTML or even Ajax developer and then still create applications that lets you make uh, lets you export that into air so how do you do that is the next question so let's see that so how do you develop the application. Okay, so let's take that one by one. So first is the Flash technology, right? Today, all the Flash uh, developers and designers use the Flash uh, IDE or the development environment to do their job. So today, what we have done is in Flash CS3, that's the latest release of Flash, we have put an Air add-on. So you can, there's an add-on that you can install onto that application. And then whatever you make today, you can export it to Air also. So whatever you the, the application that you make for the Flash player, you can even export it to the Air runtime. Okay. So then comes to Flex. Now Flex, again, we have the Flex Builder, which is what uh, traditionally a Flex, app, a Flex uh, uh, developer would use. So today, there's an option by which when you start a project in Flex Builder, you can say, I want my application to be uh, able to run on the web, or I want it to be able to run on the desktop. 
So desktop, when you choose the desktop application directly, it gets exported to the AI format. Uh, then a third one, uh, which is pretty interesting, is the HTML AJAX uh, uh, paradigm. A lot of developers right here. Which is where the bulk of the developers exactly, are. Exactly, right now. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we have solutions for them too. So uh, Dreamweaver is one of the really popular uh, development environments that are there uh, for HTML and AJAX development. So what we have done is, again, similar to the Flash uh, here, so we have an add-on on Dreamweaver CS3, and you can use this uh, to export your HTML applications uh, from Dreamweaver directly onto Air. Also, there's another product that's out there called Aptana, it's not Adobe specific. So uh, what Aptana IDE has done is, Aptana has been a, a pretty uh, popular IDE with the Ajax and JavaScript developers. So Aptana again has an Air plugin, so you can develop an application in Aptana and then again export it to Air. So there are a lot of uh, you know, different ways that you can do it. Quick question. So for the HTML and AJAX developers, mm -hmm. there are only two options, either Dreamweaver or Aptana. Yeah, that's right. And uh, that's, that's more than these guys get. So. Okay. Okay. So that's how it works. Yeah. So Raghunath, you've showed me all about Flex and Air, but where do people go if they're interested in exploring how to work on Flex and uh, Air? Okay. Yeah, I can show you that. So uh, this is the Adobe Developer Connection. Okay. Uh, this is a, a, a website that's developed by Adobe to help the developers who are working on Adobe technologies. So you can see that adobe.com slash devnet slash flex mm -hmm. takes you to the Flex Developer Center. And there, there's a Getting Started tab. Okay. And in that Getting Started tab, they deal with each topics one by one. As a, if, you're, if you're just starting off with Flex, it tells you what Flex is, what's the IDE, how we use it, what's, what is the language, and all those details are covered in here. And this is by Adobe and you can you can mail them about questions and things like that. So this is a, this is a great resource for people to start off with. Similarly, there's an Air Developer Center too, mm. uh, which you can go to. Uh, another really great uh, resource is flex.org. So this is not by Adobe and this by the actual flex community that's out there. And uh, the community has actually gone ahead and, and compiled a lot of resources uh, in here. And that's like a really great place to look at things. So uh, there's something that I particularly like in here because a lot of developers right now who are coming into Flex are not from the Flash background. So they're Java developers or .NET developers. So this particular website has this uh, tab which says check Flex for Java developers or Flex for .NET developers. So what that does is they, it understands that you are a Java developer. It understands what you know and presents Flex to you in a way that you understand. So uh, I think it's a really, really great resource. So is it a certification for this? Yes, yes. Uh, Adobe has actually come out with uh, a, a Flex certification, Flex 2 certification that's there. And it's, you can write it at any of the programmatic centers that are there. You have so to pay it, for it? Uh, yes, I can pay for that. So, oh, yeah. Okay. And Flex is, how popular is Flex in India? Flex in India uh, started off pretty slow. Uh, but since the last one year, it's been like uh, going through the roof because we we started off something called as a Flex India group uh, in, in March of 2007 and since then right now we have over 1000 developers online who are participating in the forums and stuff like that and you have many more people who attend the user groups, so there are user groups in Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, Bombay, Pune, so it's been like a, a pretty huge one and uh, daily we get a lot of calls from corporates saying that they you know the services companies who say that you know I have a client in the US who's asking me to develop on Flex how can I do it? How can I uh, get people ramped up on it and things like that? So there's a lot of interest today and there's a lot of shortage of Flex developers, which is good uh, if you're a Flex developer. Uh, you can actually go ahead and, and, and uh, get yourself a pretty handsome pay today. So if there is one place that you wanted anybody to explore about Flex, mm -hmm. should they go to the .org or the Adobe site? If you want a wholesome picture, I'd say that .org is a better place because it's the community, so the community uh, will have a neutral view about things and give you a more holistic picture. Uh, while if you want technical details on spe specific topics, DevNet is a good place uh, because there are technical articles that focus on each topic. So uh, that's, that's how I learn. Now that you know where the resources are, uh, I hope that you guys would actually take a look at uh, Flex and Air Technologies, give it a spin, and I'm sure you will love it like I've been for the past some time. Hey, thank you, Raghunath. Thank Thanks you for showing me what Flex and Air is about. Thanks, Raghunath.